everybody, how are you? I'm gonna show you today something something really, really cool. Something that um, a lot of people sometimes request and you have probably only one design or, or one way how to make this frog. And I'm gonna show you, um, I was thinking, what about if I try something new, a new type of frog? And it came, the first one was this one. Look, <laughs> so cute, right? Look how adorable it is. And uh, I think it's a super cute design. I love it. So I want to share it with you. So this is a good thing. You, you know, just need three balloons, two balloons, two sixties and one 160. But if you want to change the color of the eyes, because if you use the yellow, you have enough balloons to make also the eyeballs yellow, the eyes. But um, I think it looks better when you change the color because look, this is one, for example, with only yellow. And you can, if you don't have time also, you don't have to do this detail for the mouth. You just leave it like that. So it's like a serious frog or kind of sad frog, but it's a cool frog. It's still being a cool design. And I was testing to see how it looks with other colors. So this is like, like a neon frog. And I think it's still looking like a frog. And I don't know, what do you think? I hope you like this design. And I think it's a, it's a fast and and it's easy okay let's start this design so i'm gonna use this as an example because that this was the first i did so let's see first let's start with the balloon scrap i'm using the orange uh neon orange so you just measure like two finger bubbles and then you make it into a pinch twist like this you squeeze the air a little bit when i say squeeze the air it's like leave some space here like probably it's when you stretch it it's gonna be like four finger all the way stretch it and then you measure again like two finger bubble and tie it okay so you have this this is gonna be the eyeballs and this technique i use it a lot and i recommend you sometimes if you think you're gonna make a lot of frogs or a lot of these the designs that are you can see on, on my facebook on my facebook no i mean on my youtube channel i use a lot of these techniques for eyes or um, for different parts of bodies too um but you pre-made that's what i'm gonna say pre-made this a lot of this because you always gonna use it especially if you have parties you know uh, in the summer almost every day or on the weekends you know these balloons can last pretty long so that's a cool part okay now let's start with a 260 green you can use any type of green or actually any color you know uh let's see like like eight finger tail okay and you're gonna squish and make a loop like three finger or four finger loop right four finger loop and let's make another four finger loop and then you make two pinch twists I'm very excited for this design. One of the my better designs because I have a super cool, more elaborated advanced frog, but um, yeah, it takes longer time. This one I think you can be able to make it at the birthday parties or you know at the events. So this is what I did: four finger loop, four finger loop, two pinch twists, and one pinch twist on the front. Then you're gonna measure like six finger bubble, right? And look, this is the part, the best part because with the rest, you um, this technique I've been using it before for the other frogs. You just squish the air, stretch as much as you can, make a little bubble at the end, and attach it right here. Then find the center of this loop and split it in half. So then you have the back legs. Okay, so this is what you have so far. Now we can start attaching this part. How? Look. I like just to pass open this loop and pass one of these bubbles, orange, one side. So this is how it's looking, look. Now, you're gonna pass the other one. Maybe you wanna touch it on the pinch twist and then open the loop and pass it. So this is the few thing you can play to make them have different uh, expressions with this technique. And that's a cool part, you see? So you have something just like this. Okay. I'm taking the eyes out. I think it looks better. You have this. Now, with a 260, um, what is this color? Um, yellow, inflated eight finger tail again. You make like this, two finger bubble, pinch twist. And I recommend you to pass the nozzle all the way through here. You know, you know what I'm doing? Like this. Pass it through there so then it's locked. 
Then you make sure like six finger bubble, okay? And then make another pinch twist. Look, you cut it tight. Don't get rid of this because it's gonna be also the chest. And tie this part too to make sure it's left. It's safe, okay? You can gain from faster to there, so then it's luck. You have this. Now let's go with the, uh, the 160 green inflated like again eight finger tail or seven, but approx. Let's see, you make like one and a half finger bubble, then like three finger bubble, another three finger bubble. You can love this if you want, and then make a pinch twist. Okay, when you have that, now we're gonna measure here like three finger bubble. And this one on top is gonna be a little bit longer. So it's gonna be, this, this one is three, this one is gonna be four finger bubble. And you're gonna attach it in one of these big pieces of the yellow balloon. When you have that, then you're gonna grab the rest of your balloon, accommodate this yellow far one on the front and the back, do it like uh, 160 green goes around so it goes around and this is probably going to be a little bit shorter but you know tight there very tight there okay now we're going to measure again remember we did now it's getting a twist but it's okay because now you remember right it was four finger bubble and then at, then you connect it right here you remember where it was you know this part and twist it two three four and then you you make three finger bubble. Then again, three finger bubble. Another three finger bubble, we, we are making the feet. And then a pinch twist. And when you have done, we're gonna make again one and a half finger bubble. Yep. And we cut. We cut, but don't get rid of this. Look, leave something like, like, what is this? This is space, leave it there because you're gonna use it in a moment. You're gonna see, this is the last detail. So we're using all the balloons. So that's a cool part also. Okay, oh, that thing is holding, but I'm tying the one and a half finger bubble, one and a half finger bubble, we are tying it together. So you have that. Now, this, the rest of the yellow, you're gonna pass it through here, this, um, you're gonna pass it through here. And look, we grab this part and we're gonna touch in all the way to this pinch twist. Or in the back too. You know, we grab that and go around a couple times. And then we're gonna go now on top of these uh, 160 balloons. We measure like it's going all the way up and four finger here, you see? But on top there, there's probably two or three finger more. So you have the idea. Just here, four finger bubble. And then this part that you tie this part, you go around. And when you go around, it's gonna give some pressure there. So you can keep twisting the balloon, twist, twist, twist. And it's gonna, then you're gonna make here like a two finger bubble. And that is gonna connect all the way to the back, right here, okay? When you have that, look, here with the rest of the yellow, we're gonna make two pinch twists. That's gonna help the back legs to be looking like the frog style. And another pinch twist. Okay, then you cut the rest. And with this, you know, you can be able to make the eyeballs the eyes, but I like it when they are orange or red or uh, another color. And you can use, do that with a scrap. So, um, but if you wanna just save balloons, you can do that. You can just use the yellow. Okay, so you have this. Look how cute this is, I love it. I'm so happy with this design. And this is a cool part. I think it's gonna be very original. And if people you know, expect the kind of same idea of a frog, I think this is gonna be awesome. And it's done, look, it's done. Now you can do some details and you can keep it simple if you want. But I like this idea uh, of eyes. Look, I made like a letter U there and then I'm going like the moon, you see? And then I color it around, it looks, I think really cool. 
okay um but you can make you know always depend how much time do you feel you have okay and i'm sure this design can be very fast you know maybe because you think oh this is so new and different it's gonna take too much time but if you start practicing you will notice that you're gonna be faster and faster with this design and it's adorable i love it okay <laughs> yeah i'm so happy i'm so happy with this design i think it's so cute oh uh, well then uh, the thing is i like to use uh this dark green or any green and make these circles you know details these little things just doing those little things it's just something that people are gonna oh say oh i love it you see um oh wait huh. i was like uh, doing the sharpie and we forgot and it's still look right now still looking like a frog but we forgot this this little piece oh. <laughs> this is a really important piece because it's gonna be even cooler now you start from uh the tie here you just make like a two finger bubble or one and a half tie them like a pinch twist so we make sure it's safe there and then you attach it all the way to one of these pinch twists i was like what is something is missing there but i think this is um something really cool and then then all the rest you pass it all the, around this part so all this you're gonna pass it all the way to here and make another bubble and pass it around oh my goodness i was so excited to share this design that uh, I forgot this little detail that I think which makes this balloon so cute. There you go. <laughs> now it's done. Yes. Now let's keep going with the Sharpie. This is the thing. You see, you just make these spots. And I think it's just give it some uh, more um, character. What do you think? But yes, it's optional. As you can see, you don't have to do this. And it's still looking like a cute frog. Okay, everybody, I hope you like this design. Always remember, uh, keep this wristbands with you because it's so cute, the designs you make. And then it's a bummer when the kids pop it or lose them so fast. You know, and what? You just put it there and look. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is going to be a hit. I think so. Okay. Oh, thank you so much, everybody. Thank you for watching the video. Bye-bye.